Do you want to see some very convincing and also funny image to video AI examples? I'm sure you do. In this video, I'm going to show you the high low video generator and show you seven ideas how to use this tool. The first idea, bring your old photos to life. The oldest picture I have in Google Photos is this one from 2018 when I was living in Spain. Let's bring it to life. Hola, I am Maru. Welcome to my travel blog. I am here in Spain. It looks pretty funny, so let's make some more. If you want to follow along, go to this address, sign up and upload your picture. I want to animate this shot from Vietnam. Let's give it a prompt and see what happens. You can use it for free for three days, but be prepared to wait. Thanks to video editing, we can skip that and here we go. If we ignore that the scooter drives backwards, the animation is very convincing. However, I don't look like that. Moving on. Next, I want to test the VFX effect with a picture where I'm in a pool. Let's see what happens with this one. As you can see, I gain some superpowers and can leap out of the water. It's a fun effect, but obviously fake. How about a picture in a park? And we're going to add something to it. Now look at this. Orange butterflies are making me smile. Here I'm on a boat and I want to see a fish jump out of the water. Like I said, the free account makes you wait a lot. But skipping ahead, here's the result. While the splash looks great, the fish looks fake, and the facial expressions are priceless. These reaction type videos are really fun to make, so here's one more. Well, at this point I get tired of waiting, so I paid for the basic subscription. And here I am as a redneck in a beer belly, shocked out of my wits. <laughs> okay, second idea is to level up your B-rolls like this. I had this image of a reindeer on a parking lot. By adding a Santa Claus in the video, it becomes much more engaging. Also, you can turn your night shots into videos without noise and low quality. Give life to statues like Hulk here has stepped on a nail. Your macro shots also become more interesting when they move. And visits to museums have a new twist to it. How about some cinematic effects with face swap? He looks a little bit like me, so let me show how I did it. In this example, I created an elf with playground, and then I took the image to clip drop, select swap, take a clear headshot of my face and use that to create something interesting. I guess it looks like me, but I don't like how old I look, so I'll pass that image through face app on my phone and then blend the layers together in photo P. This way I can de-age myself and now we can bring it to high low AI. You know, it looks pretty good. The movement is exaggerated, but if we get this now, imagine what we will get in two years. One idea for YouTuber is a channel insert like this. Here I created the image in Ideogram and ran it through high low. And if you're going for that high fantasy look, I think this works great. For another style, here's a dystopian future, but I don't know what that dude is doing. How about a custom subscribe animation? Here I took a screenshot of my channel on YouTube, then I used a bigger image of my profile picture to make it easier for the AI, and gave a prompt to ask for people to subscribe. I didn't expect this huge finger pointing the damn thing, but it works. Maybe I'll start using this. Time for some anime. Let's create an anime version of myself and use that to create some reaction clips. So first I took a picture in front of the green screen. Then in Playground, they have a feature to describe the image. Now I can edit the description to give myself a perfect prompt to generate some images. And then I choose this one, bring it to high low and give it a prompt. I made a bunch of these, so let's see how they turned out. I used the key to remove the green screen, and now these are ready to use on videos with some voiceover. In one of my videos, I used Epsynth to animate a gender swap. So this one is for my old viewers. To start, I took a picture of my face and used the gender filter in Face App, and added some makeup to emphasize the effect. Let's see what we got. This is actually quite convincing. After turning back, I look different, but it's impressive. On another one, I added a handheld camera movement, so the background gets messy and the hands are a little wobbly, but overall the effect worked well. In summary, Hyluo is a powerful video generator. Definitely one of the best I've seen. I will continue using it, so I'm sure I will come up with more ideas for content creation. If you like this video, here are two more videos you can watch from my channel.